question number 130 x cube minus 3 x y square dx is equal to y cube minus 3 x square y we will extract dy by dx first D on rearranging dy by dx becomes x cube minus 3 x y square by y cube minus 3 x square y so if you divide both numerator and denominator by x cube you can see that function uh, dy by dx dy by dx is a function of uh, y by x so in if the dy by dx is a function of y by x it means it is a homogeneous equation and in such questions we can uh, let's call this equation one let uh, we can use the substitution y equal to vx let's call this 2 and differentiate equation 2 with respect to x on both sides we get dy by dx is equal to v plus x dv by dx let's call this equation 3 now using 2 and 3 in 1 we get v plus x dv by dx is equal to uh, x cube minus uh, 3v square x cube by v cube x cube minus 3v x cube now cancelling out x cube from both numerator and denominator and bringing v to the RHS we get x dv by dx is equal to 1 minus 3v square by v cube minus 3v minus v so this becomes 1 minus 3v square minus v raised to 4 plus 3v square by v cube minus 3v so bringing all the uh, simplifying this further the x dv by dx is equal to 3v square get cancelled and 1 minus v raised to 4 by v cube sorry minus minus 3v now uh, this is in a form that where we can solve this using method of separation of variables we will bring all the v terms to one side so v cube minus 3v by 1 minus v raised to 4 dv equal to dx by x now we have this we will we will open this up so we get v cube by 1 minus v raised to 4 minus 3 into v by 1 minus v raised to 4 dv equal to dx by x now integrating both sides we get integral v cube by 1 minus v raised to 4 minus let me just check one thing 1 1 minus 3 v square v raised to 4 3v square okay sorry so yeah uh, v cube by 1 minus v raised to 4 minus 3 integral v into 1 by 1 minus v raised to 4 sorry dv dv equal to integral dx by x plus a constant so here uh, the differential of this is minus uh, 4v cube minus 4v cube 
so we have v cube here so we can write this as minus 4 minus 1 by 4 into minus 4 v cube so uh, that becomes minus 1 by 4 log integral becomes 1 minus v raised to sorry 1 minus v raised to 4 so uh, and this we need to substitute uh, so we will just we by we can write this in this way 1 minus v raised to 4 equal to log x plus c so we got that now we can call this integral i and uh, integrate it separately so integral sorry uh, i uh, integral v by 1 minus v raised to 4 dv so let's put v square equal to t 2v dv equal to dt so v dv is there so it becomes dt by 2 so we have 1 by 2 into integral dt by 1 minus v square the whole square so 1 minus t square so this converts to this form now this is in the form it's 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 in a standard formula integral dx by a square minus x square is equal to 1 by 2 a log x sorry a plus x by a minus x so this is the standard formula before proceeding let me just confirm that so yeah a plus 1 by 2a into 25th formula 1 by 2a into log a plus x by a minus x so all these standard formulas if we know by heart uh, it will come in handy in exam so going back to the question this is correct so yeah we have uh, a as 1 and x as t here so that becomes 1 by sorry 1 by 2 into 1 by 2a 2 log a plus x 1 plus t y 1 minus t so put in t equal to v square we have this as 1 by 4 log 1 uh, so this becomes uh, t becomes v square so 1 plus v square by 1 minus v square okay now if we put uh, okay that we will do later so using let's call this equation 4 uh, this as 5 so using correct right 
we have plugged in the value of integral in this equation 4 so signs are correct so is equal to log x so if you multiply throughout by minus 4 and use the properties of logarithm we have log 1 minus v raised to 4 into 1 plus v square by 1 minus v square uh, rise to 3 the whole cube equal to log x we can call this log x c1 log x c1 so if we equate we have uh, 1 minus v raised to 4 is nothing but so okay we will write it as next step. 1 minus v raised to 4 into 1 plus v square the whole square by 1 minus v square the whole square sorry all cube equal to xc1 so using 2 we know v equal to y by x so 1 so before that we will cancel out uh, this 1 minus v square uh, uh, this 1 minus v raised to 4 is nothing but 1 minus v square into 1 plus v square 1 plus v square the whole cube by 1 minus v square the whole cube is equal to x c1 so this cancels out this becomes 2 and this becomes this cancels and this becomes 4 so we have uh, using 2 we have v equal to y by x so y square by x square or x square plus y square the whole by x square into same here 1 minus v uh, y square by x square so into x square minus y square the whole by x square plus y square plus the whole raised to 4 on square minus y square Priced to so by x square minus to two. This get cancelled to a square square. we take root can we take root okay we multi so I made a mistake here we multiplied throughout by uh, minus 4 right minus 4 yeah so this goes 1 minus so here it becomes minus 4 x raised to minus 4 or this becomes 1 by x raised to 4 which becomes 1 by x raised to 4 into c1 so here now x raised to minus 4 
Axel is to minus 4 C1. So here this gives x square the whole square becomes x raised to 4 okay, x raised to minus 4 into x square plus y square the whole raised to 4 y into x square minus y square raised to minus 2 equal to x raised to minus 4 into c1 this become oh sorry So here x raised to minus 4 cancels out and this becomes and if you take root uh, square root of uh, LHS and RHS we get x square plus y square the whole square uh, this is minus 1 and this becomes x square minus y square raised to minus 1 is equal to c1 or we can take this to the RHS we get x square plus y square the whole square is equal to c1 into x square minus y square raised to minus 1 uh, sorry plus 1 so since we took this to the other side so so answer is x square minus y square is equal to constant into x square plus y square the whole square so it is given in this form so we can take constant to the other side so the answer given is in this form x square minus y square is equal to say a constant 2 into x square plus y square the whole square so this is the solution so here I just the cancelling uh, we have to do it very carefully uh, I didn't take minus 4 here that so why this got confused anyway these are the, this is the step we just need to use the logarithm property uh, and properly um, equate the terms and cancels out whatever that is common and we can reach the solution so the only uh, prerequisite to solve this integral is this knowing the standard formula otherwise we will have to derive it uh, which will take few more steps so better to learn this by heart so that we can use in such questions so this is the solution solution number uh, solution to question number 130